Well, after exploding four props at once in the last video, I thought it was only fair to print four more. So here we have nearly finished four new toroidal props that I'm going to pop on the Copus Mini. I've got three battery packs waiting to go as well, so this time we're going to see how long we can fly it for. My name's Johnny, welcome to the channel, Will It Mod? Four props fresh off the printer. Let's get them popped off and uh, installed on the copus and then go for a fly. So uh, I have the dirtiest print bed in the world. And I'm using this one because my Creality one, let me show you. Never leave prints unsupervised is what I say. Because what happened to that one is, uh, got munched up a little bit. Yeah, I think the, uh, the probe failed. Well, actually, I know exactly what it was. The hot end started to come loose and crashed into the bed and anyway, made a complete mess. Who cares? So let's get these popped on. I've enlarged, at least I thought I did, enlarged the, uh, the holes on these to be five mil, a smidge under, because they were a little bit loose before and I didn't want to have to ream them out. So, like magic, I'm going to fast forward to the bit where they're all fitted and uh, you guys don't have to watch any of this boring nonsense. Just like this. Just like that. All fitted, plenty of clearance. Much tighter fit this time. Um, I bought out in uh, Microsoft 3D Builder. Yes, I use the most complicated of mesh programs. Um, Microsoft 3D Builder, I bought out the centers to five millimeter. Um, and then, yeah, they seem to have just wound on there and smidged up. Anyway. Let's get this outside for a fly, uh, hop straight into the goggles and this camera for an external view, take it really easy and see how long we can fly for. Then I'll tell you about the changes I've made in beta flight for this flight. Let's hop to it. <laughs> so here's the Copus Mini. Let's get everything powered on. Pop a battery in. And then we'll hop into the goggles. Take this for a gentle flight. So we've got three packs here, three 1300s. And we're going to see how long we can fly for. The changes I've made within beta flight, I've changed the throttle mid on this to 50% because that's where it was hovering around the 50% mark. And I've also changed, um, what else have I changed? I've changed the throttle max to 80% because the blades look like they shattered at about 90 plus percent. So I've limited the throttle to 80% on here and I've also lowered the D gains as well. So with lower D gains, we should have uh, um, a better flying experience and less jittering as well. So I guess we'll see how that all goes. Let's put this on the floor. Okay, I'll put my goggles on, like so, hit record on the goggles, give them a quick clean actually. Okay, we're now recording on the goggles. So, let's go for a little fly. Okay, we're on air mode, I'm going to go into my profile, props have started. Off we go. Now these seem to be flying a little bit better. I've printed them at a faster speed. The first set was printed out at 25 millimeters a second. These are printed out at 50 with no supports. And maybe it's the lack of supports have given it a smoother surface for it to uh, cut through the air a bit cleaner. 
always a distinct possibility. Let's head out over here. Try not to give it too much throttle, because the last time we gave it throttle, bad things happened. But let's head down here. Yeah, see when it turns, it really sinks. We lose a lot of thrust as we're, we're banking. So I have to really, I'm having to apply in quite a lot of thrust, quite a lot of power as we're banking. Okay, so flight response is interesting. It's, um, it's not sharp, but it's sort of almost floaty. It's almost sort of cushioned. Yeah, we're doing all right here, but it is, it's very floaty. When it starts to sink, the drop off is, is quite substantial. Yeah, let's do a couple of laps there, let's go around here. Three and a half volts. Let's, a lot of that is because of the amount of throttle I'm having to, to use to keep this in the air. Um, a lot of the sag, so it's quite heavy sag. Don't want to batter this poor battery, but I do want to get some reasonable flight times. So definitely without the, uh, with less D gain, I'm getting less jitter in the flight experience as well. And because I'm not pushing it that hard, I'm getting a, a more of a feel for it. Three and a half volts. Let's just keep going a little bit longer. Don't want to toast this battery too much, but equally I want to get some decent run time. Let's get a bit of speed up. I'm going to come in nice and gently on the landing because I don't really want to donk these props. Okay. So that rested at about 3.58 volts. Uh, so, you know, the sag is quite hard to calculate. Let's swap over a battery, get straight on with another one. And we will see if we can push it a little bit further. And no props explo have exploded yet, so that's all good. Let's make sure we're still recording here. We are. Let's make sure we're still recording in the headset. We have stopped, so we'll set that off for session two. Let's see. Back in the headset. And recording for session two. So let's go. Um, and let's let's have a bit more a bit more throttle and be a bit braver with the flight and see if we can get some flips and spins. But this time, not apply so much throttle as we're pulling out of a flip. So let's try it. There we are. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely helping with the lower D gains. I, I presume that the last prop must have shattered when it was recovering from the quick, quick spin. But there we go. Oh, and it's slow. Let's get some speed up. Oh, now that's interesting. My goodness, that is odd. Right, let me tell you what I'm finding out there. That is the strangest thing. Let me turn around. Now, if I fly fast, the faster I fly, the faster I fly, the more lift I'm getting. So look at that. It's just going up. into a tree okay let's go recover that and um, <laughs> we'll see if we've damaged the props but uh, whilst we recover that let me grab my camera and I'll give you a, th a few thoughts on the way down there really weird as you're flying faster the, the the more speed that you gain going forwards the more lift you're getting it's the the weirdest thing so um, let me see if I can recover this and uh, if I do, we'll, we'll check up for another flight if the props haven't exploded again. And if it's not about 60 foot up in a tree. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, it's all the way up about there. So I'm gonna lob some stuff up there and see if I can get it down. 
Should be interesting. Uh, wish me luck. Well, after throwing a stick in the air, about 25 foot in the air, uh, <laughs> several times, about 30 times, um, on it back. They've all blown up, obviously, probably from me putting it in turtle mode. I didn't like that very much. But it's back. And we did a pack and a half. And we did a couple of spinny flips. So, what are my thoughts? Well, the weirdest thing out of all of this, it's not the fact it flies. The fact it flies is part of the nature of it uh, generating thrust from a propeller. And that's pretty straightforward, right? What surprises me is the fact that the PLA held together for that long. Very interesting. But the weirdest thing, the faster I flew forwards, the more uplift. It just wanted to go upwards. Um, if you think about helicopters, the reason why their top speed is limited is because as they go forwards, they've got one blade coming forwards and one side coming backwards, giving more uplift on one side of the heli, which makes it want to roll over. That's why the top speed is limited. What's interesting on this, and maybe it's a difference with props in or props out, minor props out in, in that configuration, you would have thought with the props running back that maybe that would negate some of that. Uh, but then maybe it doesn't. Maybe I should uh, uh, put another set on around the other way, have them props in, see if that has uh, any, any other effect on it. But my goodness, it was climbing. It was uncontrollably climbing at one point. I was hardly on the throttle and as it was going forwards, up it went. Anyway, we've crashed it now, so that's the end of that experiment. Uh, at least uh, for now until another day. Perhaps we'll do TPU and try props in versus props out, see if it makes a difference. Now, thanks for watching. My name's Johnny, and today we found out if it will mod. Um, yeah, I think it did. Take care. Yeah, so I thought I'd take this opportunity, seeing as the, the both of us are stuck in a tree 30 foot up, watching a man in a red jacket with a bold, glistening head throw sticks um, at said object. Might be a good time to reflect. Now, my thoughts are, um, the forward motion definitely increases lift. This is with outward spinning props, so spinning out from the front into the sides. Now, as you move forward, there must be lift that's being generated um, by those props as they move forwards through the air, and it gives you a tremendous amount of uplift. Really noticeable. The downside of that is when you go into a turn and reduce your speed, you lose all of that up thrust, and the net result is you land in a tree. I mean, it's not fully the physics and you know, fluid dynamics and stuff that's going on here causing that. You know, I could have overcome that by adding in more throttle. I was limited to 80% throttle because my blade shattered at 92 or 3% on the last video. So I limited myself to 80%. I had to play with what I had to play with. Anyway, it was a good experiment. It was a lot of fun. I wonder if putting those props on going inwards uh, instead of outwards would have a different effect on forward motion and uplift. That might be something to test. I mean, so far as how they flew, I'll be honest with you, they flew horrible. They were horrible. But, you know, this is a 3D printed part made out of potatoes and so on. Um, you're not expecting them to fly like a nice set of HQ props. I think next throw does it, you know. So, yeah, it flew horrible, but more importantly, it flew. And it did get quieter a lot, lot faster a lot faster uh, you know as soon as that started to disappear into the distance from the mic there you really hear the noise just drop off and that's really what this is all about isn't it it's having a quieter drone a little bit further away anyway that's uh, that's my incessant ramblings of nonsense over with uh please do take care of yourselves and um catch you on the next vid ta-da